Since publishing the first version of this video, a lot of people have asked me just how much flexibility does shooting with RAW give you? Because the vinyl video was graded, it isn't easy to see how much dynamic range is captured by the FX9 when shooting RAW and recording to the Atomos Shogun 7. So I created this version of the video where you can see the original grade on the left as well as grades that are tailored to show the shadow range and highlight range on the right. This allows you to see much more clearly the huge dynamic range that the FX9 and Shogun 7 captures. For example, as the model walks across the grass at the beginning of the video, if you look at the shadow range, you can see that it's actually possible to see the tread on the soles of the model's shoes. Later in the video, the shot's taken in amongst the trees, which would be very challenging for any video camera, show how the FX9 and the Atomos ProRes RAW recordings have comfortably captured both the deep shadows in the shade of the trees and the brilliantly bright trees and shafts of light in the background. With such a large capture range, it's then up to you to choose what you will make use of during the grade. And this gives you great flexibility when it comes to creating all sorts of different looks. I hope that this video will help you better understand the very large dynamic range that's captured when shooting the FX9's RAW recording option and the Atomos Shogun 7. While this range is no larger than can be captured when shooting with S-Log3 and recording internally, having a 16-bit linear output that's recorded using clever, visually lossless 12-bit log that's only been very gently compressed gives you more highly usable data to play with during that all-important grading process. And this is a big help when you wish to take that huge capture range and turn it into pleasing images for display on screens that simply can't show everything that was captured one to one.